Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of cool videos and pictures of people who have been printing these really neat looking shoes on their Bamboo Lab H2D printers. One of those Cloudberry designs. And even Bamboo Lab used that to promote the printer when it was brand new. And that got me thinking, you know what? I want to print some shoes too. Something that I can actually fit. And instead of using the Bamboo Lab H2D, I wanted to try the Flashforge 85X to see what it was capable of when it comes to making uh, shoes. Now, here's the thing. Now, as you might know, or maybe you don't know, when this printer was first announced, Flashforge said that it was capable of printing 95A TPU directly through the IFS and that you could print four colors of TPU at the same time if you wanted to. But if you flash forward to today, they backed away on that claim. And now they say you print 64D TPU through the IFS, which basically means that TPU is a little bit stiffer to help to prevent clogs and things like that from happening. But as I said in my original review for this printer, it is capable of printing 95A TPU, even if Flash Force doesn't officially say that now. So that's what I decided to do when I printed some slides. These slides right here. Now these slides, I'll leave a link to where I found the file on Maker World. Now these slides, these are called lattice slides. And as you can see it has this lattice design pattern throughout the entire slide and I printed these using Flash Forge's clear TPU directly in the IFS but I also used a filament dry box because you know TPU is very temperamental when it comes to the humidity and seeing as how it's hot and it's humid right now it was very important for me to print directly from that filament dry box which also meant that I didn't use the spool holders these new spool holders so if you're curious of whether or not you can print directly from a filament dry box and just completely forego these, you absolutely can. Now, fortunately, the way that these slides were designed and the way that they printed being pretty much straight up, almost just at a slight angle, I was able to fit one of them on the 220 millimeter cube build plate of the AD5X. And according to the designer of these, I had to scale these to 90.91%. So that means I actually had to make it smaller in order to accommodate an American size 10 shoe. And after uh, trying these on, I think I should have scaled it up a little bit more, maybe around 93-ish percent. But the whole point of this is to tell you that it worked perfectly fine. In the filament dry box, after I had already dried it for about seven hours and then I kept it in there and then I fed it through to the IFS and then the shoes began to print. And one of these took around 11 hours to print. And then for the right shoe, it took a little over nine hours to print. And I think it's because I screwed around with supports for this. But when I made these in the slicer, I did make sure that I changed the uh, top support distance to 0 0.2 millimeters by default is 0 0.16, which in my experience makes the supports a little bit rougher to get off, especially with TPU. It tends to be quite clingy, but bumping that up to 0 0.2 millimeters made releasing those supports much easier. So I did have much trouble with it at all. So no failures. And as you can take a look at these, you can see uh, how good of a job the 85X did on these slides. Now I didn't clean these up or anything. So you're going to see some light stringing here and there on here, but just kind of, you know, considering these diamond shaped patterns all around the shoe and how clean they are and how symmetrical they are. I'd say this printer did a darn good job and there were no supports ports under the strap either so even though it looks a little bit iffy right under the middle of the strap all things considered it still looks pretty good since there were no supports under it at all but now you can see the flexibility of these slides look at that so even though 95A TPU is definitely not the softest and some would not recommend printing shoes from 95A TPU because it's a little bit hard. So you have to bump it down to like 90 or 85 uh, TPU in order to really get something nice and squishy. But just because of this lattice design, it's already naturally squishy in its own right. But of course, now the question is going to be, 
how do they feel? How do they fit? What's it like wearing these 3D printed lattice slides? Well, let's find out. All right, so let's see how these are. And you know, for the record, I did already try them previously, but now you get to see me try them. All right, now, like I said, I should have scaled these up from where I had it because I have to kind of give it a pull in order to get my full heel on the slide like that. But let me just go ahead and grab the southern one. And if you're wondering, Jeremy, why the heck are you wearing socks with slides? This is sacrilege. Well, there's a good reason for that. And the main reason is um, when you walk on these and it compresses when it squishes down you can feel the the pattern pushing into your feet and if you are barefoot when it does that it doesn't hurt but you're still having this grid ish pattern still pressing up against you so it's not the most comfortable thing in the world but if you're wearing like a thin pair of socks like i am and these are very quite thin they're almost like stockings um then you can put these in without adding too much additional bulk so that you can still fit the slide and then also offer yourself a bit of protection against the feeling of these, you know, poking you on the underside of your foot. Now, it's, it is a bit jarring at first, but once you keep these on for a little bit, you do, or at least I do, kind of develop a tolerance for it. So it's not nearly as bad as it was when I first started to do it. I am forming a giant calluses on my bottom of my feet. That's kind of gross. I'm not actually, but you know, I'm just saying that you kind of get used to it. So it's not terrible. But uh, as far as a design goes, that would be comfortable all the time without compromises. Then this is not going to be it. But the fact that I was able to print these on the 85X at the 90.91%, and I even could have went a little bit bigger if I wanted to, to accommodate a slightly larger foot or just to make it a little bit more comfortable. I can totally, totally do that. But it's not breaking apart. Nothing has ripped. Nothing has come apart. It is maintaining its structure through and through. So I do have to say that about this uh, particular design. And I do think that is cool. It is a good concept of something that you can do on the 85X using TPU. It's just not the most comfortable thing in the world. And I am using the updated hot end and heat sink combination that's coming with the uh, current iteration of the FlashForge 85X. So 95A worked just fine with the old nozzle and heat sink, and it works just fine with the new nozzle and heat sink. But, you know, as far as these as shoes go and just kind of wearing these around from day to day, I don't think they would be the greatest just because of how when they are compressed you can feel these um, the little middle portions here of this uh, lattice structure pressing up into your foot and like I said it doesn't hurt but you can definitely still feel it you know it's not like if you have shoes like these where everything is just nice and solid so you're not feeling the ground underneath you and there's nothing inside of the shoe that's going to actually you know come up and press up against you and hurt you but yeah so these cool little proof of concept um it's got holes all in it so i definitely wouldn't try to wear them outside or running around in the grass you know because any and everything has a possibility of getting through these holes and stabbing you in the foot and if you're going to get stabbed in the foot, what's the point of wearing shoes in the first place? But it does show that if you want to print some other type of shoe and maybe you want to print it for a kid or maybe you have small feet yourself, you can do it on the Flash Forge 85X with 95A TPU and perhaps another design. And maybe that design will be the one that you're after. So that is going to do it for now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And remember, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I always have more coming up in the future. And if you want to see more videos about the FlashForge 85X specifically, I do have a running playlist that has over a dozen videos specifically about this particular printer, help you make a decision on whether or not you want to buy it. So that's it. Thank you all again for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.